is happening guys we are craig and amy and you are watching kicking it and welcome back to our highland adventures scotland is immense it's made us wow, wow. it has made us scream <laughs> it's nearly made amy cry you gonna cry yeah no it's the wind the scenery is flipping wicked bad The locals are a bunch of legends. There's been plenty of whiskey. <laughs> and many stunning drives, when the weather permits. It's all just been the most beautiful and eye-opening experience. We have just two weeks left in the Highlands and this week we're going to be driving one of the most epic drives in the UK. The Bilach Nabar. And we're going to be attempting to do it in this. On our drive so far, we have made it down some pretty narrow roads and we've seen a few incidents. Always be careful on the NC500. But Custard has done us proud. So this week, Craig will be putting his driving skills to the test as we navigate this hairpin beauty all the way to Applecross. This week, we have a standoff with some cows. They won't let us get back in the bus. <laughs> we brush shoulders with the 5-0. It's a breath test for an artist's failure to do so without reasonable excuses and offence may render you liable to prosecution. And we nearly get our heads blown clean off. <laughs> Spent a few nights free camping and waking up to some glorious mornings on Loch Marine. This morning in particular was so peaceful and so special. Good morning, lads, from me and Gabler the Traveller. <laughs> Got your map on you, love. No, I am a traveller, obviously. <laughs> I'm an explorer of the world, Craig. And right now, we just happen to be in Scotland, if you didn't know. If you didn't know, we've got loads of videos. If you come in here, click up here for some inspiration on what to see when you come. That's some scandalous self-promotion. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel great. Pumped for today. A bit nervous to be honest because everyone's you, like don't you do sound it. don't do the balach <laughs> bar and custard you'll never make it yeah it is a bit controversial people doing it in camper vans and motorhomes but my thoughts on the situation is we've had this camper van for a year now we've driven it all around europe all around scotland craig's competent driver do you know what i mean gotta see one license he's got it he's got it down it's gonna be absolutely fine we've driven more dangerous roads than the balach bar but i feel like People that are renting motorhomes that maybe aren't so confident with the size of it and everything, maybe it's not not the best choice of road. Would you agree? Agreed. Agreed. So yeah, um, thanks for asking Craig, I feel wicked. How do you feel, love? Um, I'm feeling like super Christmassy. I'm really excited about what's gonna happen this week, next week on the vlog, because it's Craig's birthday next week. Um, and then for Christmas as well, we've got a whole new, adventure for christmas so yeah i'm i'm buzzing i'm having a wicked time Good. again thanks for asking still talking yeah we got places to be love all right our bloody favorite thing about road trip in the scottish highlands is the freedom we have Without a soul in sight, the long epic roads, we can basically do whatever the f we want. Oh shh. That's me a mask, mate. How are you doing, mate? Just getting a mask, what's that? Yeah, good, how are you? Uh, what we'll get you to do, is this yours? Have yeah, you yeah. Hired it? No, okay. this is ours, yeah. No bother at all. We'll do a couple of checks, make sure everything's roadworthy in that as well. Yeah, mate, no worries. Where do you find this? Uh, we eBay. <laughs> <laughs> On eBay, yeah. It's great, eh? As the small talk progressed, it turned out we'd been pulled over because we forgot to get our backlight fixed. Craig was absolutely in his pants. No, I wasn't. You happy to give us a breath test today? Yeah, that's fine. Have you had any alcohol in the last 20 minutes? No. No problem at all. I'll give you the machine now, you take a hold of that. Deep breath in for me, make a seal around the tube. Long and steady, not too hard. Keep going like that. Have yeah. you ever done a breath test? No, it's my first one. Your first one. <laughs> we pretty much will, will breath test everybody we stop up here. Yeah. Zero. Sorry for stopping here, bro. That's all good, no worries, guys. I like in case you get stopped or whatever. Okay. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, mate. See ya. Cheers. 
Merry Christmas! <laughs> Told them off for, didn't we? <laughs> This drive is why the west coast of the NC500, in our opinion, is the best. Through Torridon, Shieldaig, towards Applecross, the views are preposterously insane. So pop it on your list for when you come. Oh, spot the deer. So the sign behind me mentions that it's not advised for larger vehicles or motorhomes to go up the road. But we've seen it being done before and Craig's a very competent driver so we have every faith. Plus it's winter and there's probably going to be hardly anyone on these roads that we can hold up. The Balachnabar Road, meaning the pass of the cattle, is a single winding snake track. It's approximately 11 miles long and 626 metres steep, making it one of the steepest ascents of drivable roads in the UK. But the question on everyone's minds, can you get a motorhome or a custard a bit. Well, we're about to find out. All right, so we, we've got onto the incline now. It's only like a steady section. I can go up in third gear and it's not too bad. But so far, it's not much different to like most of the single track roads that we've done. We've done a few quite hilly ones. There's loads of passing places. Some of them are quite tight though. We can't, we can't really imagine getting too full-size motorhomes through which is probably why a lot of people have to reverse back into bigger spaces uh, it's fine for us right now obviously we're here in winter and and so far we haven't come across anybody but uh, we can imagine all the motorhomes that come here in the summer trying to get up here might be a bit of a nightmare dropped into second come on custard <laughs> climbing higher we approached the one and only motorhome that we saw we gave them a little wave, then we took the dreaded hairpin turn with ease. Babes, we did it. Oh, you've lost your hat. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Because <laughs> she's got a wig on, she can't tell when her hat's come off, so she just keeps walking. <laughs> Look at this, babes. We did it. Oh, such a road. Brilliant. Bilak Naba, baby. Bilak. Bilak. Big man drive. <laughs> Should we go inside? It's bloody freezing. Yeah. Not a soul here. So we got to the viewpoint and Gavla the Traveller has decided to whip up some crumpets. I take advantage of it, ain't it, Craig? Look at I feel like in the summer there'd be so many vans and motorhomes and stuff maybe up here. We've got it all to ourselves and all we all we have to do is look out our window, crumpets with a view. Whoa! Look at that. Keith the kettle's blazing. Go yeah. on, Keith, with your bad self. We ran out there for about two minutes and it's bloody freezing. I know I've got a t shirt on, but like I feel like the higher you get, the colder the air is. So let's get some coffee. Did you just mate. say t shirt? Yeah, it's a t shirt, basically, innit? That's a. It's a sassy t shirt. That's a croissant, innit? <laughs> <laughs> and no crumpets for you. There's snow on the floor! Christmas! As we drove down the mountain, we had a quick look around the town before finding a park up just a stone's throw away. When we got to Applecross, we were so surprised to see just a petrol pump, a pub, a craft shop and a few houses. Captain B's gone for a nap because she's getting a bit aggy. So I was like, go for a nap, sort yourself out because I'm sick of you. So we found a little park up next to the Applecross War Memorial. And you can see the little town straight across the water there, look. But for tonight, we're just going to relax, take in the views, and I'm going to listen to Amy snore for the next hour. What time do you call this? Down to get up. <laughs> this is every morning, this kid. <laughs> I'm literally, last night Amy's like, tomorrow we'll get up early, we'll make a full day of it, we'll go and see the cows. 
It's half past nine and she hasn't moved. I've been up since seven o'clock. I never said that. I told you <laughs> those words aren't in my vocabulary together. It was literally your idea. But I forgot about the cows. Can I just say? Yeah. Your hair looks electric today. I have woke up like this. Thank you so much. Shall we go and see some Highland cows and get some breakfast? And that just sound like the perfect morning. It does if you hurry up, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Clean bus, clean mind, Craig. Are you going to put those decorations up or are they going to sit on yeah. that chair all week? Well, we've had them for ages. I need to nail and a hammer. For that? Well, how, how else am I going to stick it up? A bit of cellar tape, mate. You don't want to nail that up, you maniac. Uh, well, it could stay all year. You some kind of psycho, are you? could stay all year, Craig. <laughs> oh, she's looking Christmassy. It's a bit, it's a bit shit, but <laughs> it's better than nothing. Um, the one thing I said to Amy was, don't put that there, because we can't get in the cupboards. Can't get your pants, can you? Can't get my pants out oh, now. You don't change them anyway, don't lie. Yeah, that's true. Little bit by there, little bit by there. I'm fully planning on finding a Christmas shop on the way to Inverness. I think that's enough Christmas, to um, be honest, I'm putting some lights up, because it just looks a bit drab. You've had your lot. Breakfast! We headed into the Apple Cross Inn, aka Santa's Grotto. Spoiled, didn't you? So spoiled. This is so nice and so quiet. And I'm not really that awake yet because Craig wakes me up. He goes, it's nine o'clock. And I go, oh, is it? And then I look at my watch and it's quarter past eight. And I'm like, you tell lies. Why? Don't zoom in on me. <laughs> <laughs> so bellies aren't full because they weren't serving breakfast. We actually came too early. It's only 11 and they don't start serving food until 12. So we'll make some breakfast in the bus. Uh, and then the lady in there recommended a special road to go down because as we were coming in this morning, the, ca the cows weren't there anymore. And I was like, oh no, Craig said you've missed your chance. So I was like, oh, but she said, the cows that are on the road are actually on the coastal road out. So instead of going back over the Bilechna bar to get out, we're gonna take the coastal road and we're gonna see some iron cows. Can't wait. Amy also forgot to mention that the lovely lady in the Apple Cross Inn made us two coffees and she wouldn't let us pay for them either. What a champion. Nice place, this. Lovely Scottish service view. Hello! Oh. It's the best day of my life. Hello! <laughs> How are you, chicken pie? Oh, this is lush. So here, we've got ourselves a community-owned fill-in station, which is pretty cool. Owned by the community, so, you know, give it back. Give it back. That's what we do, Craig. We're good people, you know? Uh, we left our diesel cap though, so if you find it, can you send it back to us, please? I think the cows have had their breakfast and they've come out to play. My goodness, look at them all. This is a little line. Where are they going? It seems that we just missed them crossing into a new field. But don't worry, there's plenty more where they came from. They're here! Oh, they're here, everyone! Don't even worry about it! We got you covered! Oh, they're incredible! Hi, y'all! <laughs> this is Amy, early morning breakfast. Oh, someone's coming. Um, you don't. Uh, um, he's coming quite fast. You don't. He's just coming to say hello, look how cute he is. <laughs> oh, my heart! Go say hello then. Do you think, do you think you'd send me into danger anyway, Craig, just to have a laugh? Oh, I've got babes, have a go. <laughs> You've got babes. I don't know what to do. Put your hand out and just lean forward. I know, because he thinks that, he probably thinks I'm going to have some food, doesn't he? Well, look at, this is your chance, babe. Where are you off? Well, I just want to get the, the feel of it. Where are you going? He just wants to t touch you. Don't I be don't, scared. No, I don't know. Oh, come on, 
up now, Craig. Look at this big mama. Can run? Yeah, they can run. Oh, little. Little. <laughs> Alright, they've surrounded us and we can't get out. I think there's. I don't think there's any. We could try and get in the front, but. We can't. <gasps> Any carrots? Excuse me, can we just we we just wanna can we can I get excuse me, madam? Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think I love you. <laughs> Why don't you love me? Oh, she moves quick. <laughs> All right, we're surrounded by cows. They won't let us get back in the bus. <laughs> it's a standoff. I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it. I'll distract them. Oh, she's ready for me too. <laughs> I just don't want to fall off my bum. What on earth are we going to do? <laughs> Look at the beautiful balayage on the front of her hair. Like, you pay a hairdresser so much money to get that. Oh, you're safe. What about me? Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, madam. <laughs> ah, what <I'm okay. laughs> <laughs> Come on then, think you're harder. <laughs> oh, big man, now you're back in the bus, are you? I'm a big man in the bus, yeah. <laughs> it ain't over yet, Craig. You ready for a fight? <laughs> oh, look at this. this oh, is my so goodness good. me. Morning, sir. I didn't mean to interrupt your breakfast. Or your families, for that matter. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just amazing. My whole life has been made. I just can't believe how close we can get to these ones. They're so chilled. I'm like, Craig, should I try and do a nose to nose with her? Try it. No, <laughs> I don't have no wig left on. She took it off. I want to hug you so much. Either way you decide to go, if you're scared about doing the Balak Nabar, this drive is so incredible Amazing. as well. Amazing. Like not only do you get the cows, but you get these stunning mountain views and like look at the locks. It's just that's mad. It's such a mad view. Oh look, it's Custard's cousin! <laughs> We don't see many other barrios on the road, do we? Not that colour, no. <laughs> no, wicked! In Kishorn, there's this little telephone box, there's a selfie box, and they decorate it with all things Scottish, but because of Covid, it's closed. But if you're here next year and you're watching this, take a selfie in there. I've got a quick question for anybody that lives in Scotland. Can you tell me what this is? So today, I've seen one of these signs with a thumbs up and a tick, and I've seen one with a thumbs down and a cross. What does it mean? So tonight we've been invited to stay somewhere very special for the next few days, which we're very excited about. Oh. Welcome to the Findhorn House. So this absolutely stunning place is where we're going to be. Is where we're going to be. <laughs> you excited, yeah? Is where we're going to be spending the next few nights. I can't believe it, Craig. It's so beautiful. Give so us a tour, love. This is the glorious living room, the living area. 
it's massive and the Christmas tree it just makes it so Christmassy and gorgeous and you can just imagine chilling out here they said they've got like the Disney hey. movies do you know what you don't have to imagine because we can chill out here because because watch that's me that's me doing it you're chilling out here babes oh, so so gorgeous this is mad isn't it so yeah then you've got the dining area and uh, just all the like little bits like they've got a massive log fire there there's like a beautiful fire there like look at these lamps this is interior designing masterpiece so there's one thing that we're missing in custard chops and that is a bath <laughs> look at that as well you can have a glass of wine in the bath you can actually rent this place it's on airbnb yes how many bedrooms is it three three bedrooms Double. it is just immense like look at this room nice little twin gorgeous real good quality <laughs> good quality is it love so there's, yeah, this is like the bedroom area. There's another one here. Another nice double. Let me turn the light on. But well, what I mean is like, you can tell that Brian and Angela have put so much time and effort yeah. into it. Yeah, thanks Brian and Angela for letting us stay. So the absolute this, legends. The, the best part is Angela said that in the morning, you'll think you're on a boat. That's how close we are to the water, but you can't see it right now. No. This is where we're staying. This is fantastic. So this gorgeous little number. Just, it just looks like the best bed in the world. This is the shower room. Just lovely. Look yeah, Just top quality, lads. My favourite part of this whole place is the powder room, please. The powder room? <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> that is class, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? So yeah, we're going to spend a couple of days here. The guys have set us up with a few activities and a few people. There's a whiskey bar down the road. There's a pub. we got snacks. We're gonna put the TV on, get a Christmas film going, chuck a couple of logs on the fire, and right. just relax. Look. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is gonna be great. Christmas is just around the corner. Clive. Morning Craig. How's it going? It was going fine until I realised I'd left my toothbrush in the bus. So Don't worry, I brought it in for you. Oh, did you? I did. Look how big that sofa is, your feet are just hanging off. And I'm not even sat fully back either. <laughs> so we have woken up this morning to the most spectacular views from the windows. It feels like you're on a ship. Because it's just, from back here, it's just water mate. Look at that. So good. You starving, babes? I it's it's midday, Craig. It's ten past twelve. We haven't had any breakfast yet. <laughs> it's been a bit of a late start. But uh, been told that there's a vegan bakery around the corner, like two minute walk. That sounds ideal. So it? get your shoes on. So this is her with the blue door in all of her glory. This is the cutest place, Craig, ever. It's wicked, isn't it? So sorry we kind of lated you last night. As soon as I put that robe on, after I got out of a long, relaxing, hot bath, which was incredible. You know, like, the luxury places that have got all those little bits that you can use, like the shampoos and stuff, and it was like sea kelp and, and <laughs> coconut, and oh, it was just glorious. I felt so rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we planned on like, uh, we just didn't know what to do with ourselves. We are like, should we watch a film? Should we have a bath? Should we do this? Yeah. We ended up just having a bath and just going to bed. We were yeah, shattered. Yeah, we were knackered. So yeah, we're, we're taking a walk to the bakery now around this cute little town. It's so cool it here, is, isn't it? It is, because we never would have come here if it wasn't for Angela and Brighton inviting yeah. us to stay. And it's gorgeous. I would love to live here, but yeah, man. Uh, I don't think we'd fit in that well. <laughs> with a <the> riffraff. <laughs> Becky boy, what'd you get from the bakery? <laughs> Sausage. <laughs> Breakfast bap. What, what are you laughing for? Then you got, you got all kinds of Oh there. no, 
that's that's not yours. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's just this, that's all important. That is the house that we're staying in. The one with the mast on it. And you just look straight out onto this, it's so glorious. Breakfast with a view. Feels nice to slow down a bit, doesn't it, babes? I mean, we've slowed down for now. You just wait until later. The only time Amy comes for a walk is when there's a bakery at the end of it. <laughs> Through your legs from the back. Oh, oh right. <laughs> <laughs> good, good choice of clothing for a winner. <laughs> life jacket. Spot's gotten Spivo and that, you know. Get the wind in our hair, Craig. Have Shake the cobwebs off. Have you glued that lap down today, or? The, the wig's glued down. Don't worry about that. It's not coming off. <laughs> Don't worry. just so wonderful like I'm not fully awake so for a Saturday morning it's just glorious it's so stunning around here Simon said the only thing we need to know is don't fall off the boat <laughs> <laughs> River comes in from the top and then it goes into the bay and then out and it meets the Moray Firth and then it goes into the North Sea. I remember all that, yeah. Thanks, uh, Jake Tanfra. <laughs> uh, all, all you need to know is that there's seals here that are bigger than Highland Coos and apparently they're very nosy, so I feel like they're gonna find us before we find them. <laughs> Glad I'm not doing that. <laughs> After the pretty cold boat ride, we jumped into the cafe and our captain Simon treated us all to tea and coffee. They even had a dog menu. What have you got there then, you spoke cow? So not only have we had the best morning ever on a speedboat looking for seals, come back to a parcel from uh, my mate Daryl from Jura. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what's in there? What creek? You kidding me? Look at this. Oh, that's class. Oh, wicked. That's like a little little keychain. Little flasky thing. Put it, put it on the bus keys. Oh uh, no! Don't do that. We get arrested. <laughs> wow. Great. So we got a. Does he know it's your birthday next week, or is he just this I don't kind? I think he does. No. So Daryl, if you're watching, mate. So <laughs> my birthday soon. <laughs> wow, that looks wicked. So this is a single malt. Winter edition, finished in Spanish sherry casks, this one. Okay. Citrus fruits, caramel latte and sultanas, followed by a hint of banana on the palate. Ooh, baby. That's so weird. So uh, this is our newfound whiskey Connor Slip, uh, at Craig Holmes on Instagram for everything whiskey based. If you want anything, if you want some professional whiskey advice, catch me on the gram. Oh, you can smell the banana in that. 
Smells delicious. I think I'm supposed to be saving these until Tuesday because I'm doing a tasting with Daryl. Okay. But uh, no one will know. <laughs> Thanks, Daryl. Absolute legend. See you Tuesday, mate. We've made our way down to Finhorn Beach to finish this week's video. What a belter of a week it's been, kid. What a week is probably <laughs> my favourite week. Yeah. Loads of cows, aren't there? That's the only thing. If you, if you get me next to a cow, I'll have a great time. <laughs> even if they do try and attack us. What are <laughs> So yeah, Findhorn itself is incredible. And Brian and Angela have been telling us like there's a whole different vibe here in the summer. So yeah. we're gonna have to come back. But there's like a beach that jets right out in between like a river and a lock and, a, and the sea is stunning. It's really nice here. I, I feel like it's a little hidden gem. Yeah. Because, well, we didn't know about it and we would never have come here if it wasn't for Brian and Angela inviting us. But I'm so glad we have because yeah. there's seals, there's surf, there's an amazing beach like Craig's eyeing up the surf now. But it's just got so much and the lovely town and the cuteness of it all. It's and such a great place, isn't it? And there's dolphins in the summer. Yes. So they migrate obviously in the winter to, for warmer waters, but they come back in the summer. So you can rent a uh, Findhorn house. So we'll leave the Airbnb link in the description. You it's, really it's should. It's such a bargain for what it is as well. It's amazing. It's so thank you guys place. so much for letting us stay. Yeah. It's been a dream, hasn't it? It's just, we feel so posh, like celebrities. <laughs> so next week, is my birthday week. It is Craig! And it's the build up to Christmas, so it's gonna be a belter. We've got some wicked stuff planned. So make sure you come back to watch. Double fun. And thank you so much to all of our patrons for always supporting our channel. We love you guys. And I just wanted to say before we end this video, um, if imagine we were all in a pub yeah. for my birthday, you're all invited, and you were all you all wanted to buy me a whiskey, but instead of you buying me a whiskey. I'd love it if you donated to our friends charity, Big Moose, who have done so much for me and my close friends and family. Yeah. Um, they do, they work really closely with the counselor and they've genuinely helped some of my friends and family in their darkest places and they've come out of the other end because of Big Moose. Yeah. So they do brilliant things all the time with so many different charities. They do a super try for disabled children. A few years ago, we actually ran the Cardiff Half with them. We won't talk about that. <laughs> so yeah, if, if you want to really make my birthday, we'll leave a link below for Big Moose. I'd love it if you donated because because of COVID, they really struggled. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, give them a little help in hand. They, and, are, uh, they really are the best. Check out their website. It says everything they do and it's a great story about them. Yeah. So until next week, guys. Always remember, like I know it's COVID and stuff and it's kind of stopping us from doing the things we want, but save your money while you're in lockdown and you'll be able to have a wicked holiday next year. Always remember, rule your own world. One, two, three, bye. bye.